Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Uh, this Construct 2 tutorial will just be based on fixing some bugs in our last tutorial. So one of the bugs was that firstly the meteoroids sometimes generate outside the game. So, uh, I mean, it'll ge oh, see it just happened on the left, right? There was something generated just here and it went outside of the game. So we want to fix that and the next thing we also want to fix is um, sometimes you're playing the game and the rock, the meteoroid generates where your plane is so you get killed straight away. So that's also a little bit daunting. See it happen again just there, the rock got off the level. But a rock can just generate where your plane is and then you could die straight away. So we want to fix that problem as well. Okay, so let's firstly fix the problem where we want to control where the meteoroid generates a little bit better. So, um, the event that controls where the meteoroid generates is was event number 7. Every however many seconds create the object. So let's click on that event, double click on that action and we can edit it. And I want to control where this meteoroid is generated. Now the random function, you can actually give not only um, one input, you can actually give two inputs. So the first input inside the bracket determines where you want the uh, number to generate uh, the this minimum limit of the number. So if you don't type anything, it actually is just zero. So right now we're generating a random number between zero and whatever the width of the layout is. So rather than using zero, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the meteoroids width, right, the width of this object as the base number. And the maximum number is going to be the width of the layout minus the width of the meteoroid. Okay, and the reason why I do that is because then the meteoroid will be generated within the bounds of the level, right? So let's say the meteoroid width is, um, let's say, 50. So the random number generated will be between 50 and 1,230, right? Because the width of the layout is 1,280. So 1,280 minus 50 will be 1,230. So uh, it can't generate, it can't be generated outside the level. And then the same thing with the random Y coordinate, I'm going to use the meteoroids height right and layout height minus meteoroid height okay so if we do that then if we play the game well you guys can play for a bit longer than I will be but um, you can see that the meteoroid is not going to be generate it outside the outside the level okay now the next thing we want to fix is uh, is how to avoid the rock hitting your player as soon as it's generated all right so let's try and fix that problem so go back to your construct to event sheet So if you guys remember, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the meteoroid. So make sure you uh, unlock the gameplay layer because we're editing the meteoroid and lock the information layer. So I'm going to give the meteoroid an instance variable. Okay, what is an in instance variable? Basically, it is a variable attached to each individual meteoroid. So each individu individual meteoroid can have a different number inside 
an instance variable with the same name. So for example, I'm going to add an instance variable called ready and the initial value is going to be 2. So that means every time a meteoroid is generated, it's going to have a number inside a container called ready and it's going to start with 2 but um, each individual meteoroid can have a different number if I conduct a certain action to one of the meteoroids. So for example, if I go to the event sheet and I say that every second Okay, I'm going to say that every second at event system uh, every second, every one second, subtract one from the meteoroids ready variable okay every one second subtract one from ready so what that means is if there are if there's one meteoroid right now then after one second uh, the meteoroid will have a ready variable with the number one another second the ready variable becomes zero another second negative one and so on okay so I only want it to subtract one from the variable ready when ready is bigger than zero. So add another condition when the meteoroid has a ready variable uh, bigger than uh, zero, greater than zero, then I want it to subtract one from ready. Okay, so what is the whole point of this ready variable? Well, I only want the meteoroid to be able to destroy the player when, so inside this event, when the meteoroid collides with the player. I'm going to add another condition. So when the meteoroid has a ready variable, Oops, right click, add, add another condition. When the meteoroid has a ready variable equal to zero, all right, then it can destroy the player. So when the meteoroid is generated initially, when the system creates the meteoroid, Okay, um, initially it's going to have a ready variable of 2. And then after 2 seconds, the ready variable is going to become 0. And then it can hit a player. Okay, so what I want to do now is, uh, before I even play this game to show you that it works, I'm going to organize the uh, events a little bit better so I'm going to put them in groups okay so I'm going to right click on the level on the thing somewhere and I'm going to say add group okay and the name of it is going to be meteoroids and the description of it is all events related to meteoroids all right because right now it's getting a little bit messy so uh, I'm gonna drag this every second meteoroid subtract one put it in there um, when the meteoroid collides with the player put it in there all right just to organize it a little bit better Okay, and um, every, uh, yep, so spawning the meteoroid, let's put that in. All 
okay and then I can hide all the meteoroid methods by just hiding that and another one over here so put that in there right so these are all the meteoroids uh, meth, uh, events all inside one group okay so now let's play the game to show you that it's working so basically if a meteoroid is generated then and I touch it straight away nothing's gonna happen to me but after two th two seconds it'll kill me so I touch it straight away oops and it disappeared again that's really good so touch it straight away oh couldn't get to it couldn't get to this either that's annoying so made the game harder than I wanted it to be so oh well, let's just restart restart let's find the meteoroid meteoroid touch it oh is, is it working doesn't seem to be working hang on let's see where the bug is so just to make it a little bit obvious I'm going to change the ready variable to start with 5 and I'm also going to edit it over here where it says um, creating creating a meteoroid I'm going to add an action add an action and set the very the variable ready to 5 when it's created so if I run the game now it should give me 5 seconds to touch a meteoroid see 5 seconds before it can destroy me so yep the ready variable is working and now let's change it back to two seconds so we know that the meteoroids um, can only destroy me after it's been on the screen for two seconds right so see it didn't destroy me and now it does okay and I believe I saw another meteoroid um, being generated close to the edge and going off the screen okay so I want to create <clears throat> a condition just in case the meteoroid goes outside the screen so at an event when the meteoroid is uh, outside the screen is outside the layout then just destroy it just destroy it because we don't really want meteoroids outside of the level running around in empty space okay so put that inside the inside the meteoroid group as well okay so now the game is pretty much all working maybe a few minor modifications from here um, I think we'll show you guys how to add the score in the next in the next tutorial and then that will probably be it okay thanks for watching see you next time